Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up high speed counter with an IR ETN 40R remote IO and an HMI plus PLC combo, specifically an HMC 4070 using Modbus communication. I'll also be using Mapware 7000 and Easy Remote IO programming softwares. A high speed counter is a hardware based counter within a PLC. So high speed counters are used to count fast speed inputs where program cycle scan speeds would be surpassed in a typical digital input. High speed counters are used for a wide range of manufacturing duties, but the most common is to monitor motor speed or calculate the position of a given target. First, let's take a look at the wiring setup for high speed counter on an IR ETN 40R remote IO. You can find this wiring diagram on the how to set up high speed counter with an IR ETN 40R using an HMI plus PLC combo tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. On the remote IO, here are the digital inputs for terminal one, and here are the digital inputs for terminal two. There are four high speed inputs on the IR ETN 40R, channels 10 and 11 on terminal one and channels 10 and 11 on terminal two. You'd be sending a signal from whatever device you're using to produce the high speed counter, positive signal into channel 10 or 11 on terminal one or two, and then negative or ground into S1 on terminal one or two. Here is a network configuration for communicating via Modbus with your PC, IR ETN 40R remote IO, and the HMI plus PLC combo, in this case, is an HMC 4070. Making sure that all of the IP addresses for each device are on the same subnet. In this case, that is zero. And the last octet is different and all going into an ethernet switch. Now let's open Easy Remote IO and we're going to configure the IR ETN 40R. So first we're going to select the scan button and then hit scan. Assuming you are connected to the internet, you should find your IR ETN 40R and here's the IP address. Once it finds it, you hit OK. To make sure you are connected to your IR ETN 40R, let's go to online, click start monitoring. And it says monitor is started and you can see how it's highlighted in green here and you are connected to your remote IO. Now, we are going to be communicating with an HMC 4070 via Modbus communication. So now I want to go over which Modbus addresses you will need to use because they are specific for the high speed counter on the IR ETN 40R. You're going to need six different Modbus addresses for the high speed counter setup. You can find more information on the Modbus addressing on the how to set up high speed counter with an IR ETN 40R using an HMI plus PLC combo tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. And there is a downloadable PDF called IR ETN 40R as a high speed counter. Those six Modbus addresses will be 4X4044, which is the high speed input function. And in this case, that will be a one because we're using terminal one on the IR ETN 40R for a high speed input. Next is the simple counter zero value, or 4x4000. The simple counter zero value, this is the actual count. Then there's 4x4020, which is the simple counter zero upper limit. So when the count gets to 1000, let's say, it will start over at zero. Or if the count gets to 500, it will start over at zero. Whatever you set the upper limit to, it will hit that limit and then it will start over at zero. The time windows, which is 4x4028. This is the milliseconds, so 1000 or one second. This corresponds to the rate value, which is 4x4030. So let's say you want to count 10 times in one second or 10 Hertz. So the rate value would be 10 and the time window would be 1000 milliseconds or 
one second. But let's say you want to count 10 times in 500 milliseconds or 0.5 seconds, then the frequency would be 20 hertz because it's counting twice as fast. So the rate value is 10 and the time window would be 500 milliseconds or 0.5 seconds. And the Windows channel, which is 4x4029, the Windows channel is just indicating that one is the simple counter zero. So there are just certain values for whatever you're using and the simple counter zero is represented with a one value. Now, these are the addresses given for the IR ETN40R, but in Mapware 7000, it's offset by one. So let's go to Mapware 7000, and let's go to Tags. Now I already have the tags created here, so I'm going to go to my Modbus addresses, and I will explain how I created these in a little bit, but I just want to show you how they are offset by one in Mapware 7000. For example, let's use the rate value. I explained how on the IR etn 40 r that it is 4x4030, but here, when I create it in Mapware 7000, I'll double click on this, it's going to be 404031. Now, zero represents the X, so it's 4X4030, but in Mapware 7000, it's represented by a zero, so it's 404031, and it's 4031 because it's offset by one, so you just add one. So now let me show you how you would set up your network configuration for Modbus protocol in Mapware 7000. So go to network configuration and because I'm using ethernet, I'm going to choose COM3 and then you would right click on COM3 and click add. So I already have my node created here. I already have my Modbus TCP master created here, but I'm gonna show you how you, I did that. So double click. And so I named it IRETN40R because that's what I'll be communicating with and offset by one. So address one here. PLC IP address, so this is the IP address of the IRETN40R. And protocol will be Modbus TCP master client. Because the IRETN40R is the master device. And then we hit apply and it would create this node. Now for creating the actual addresses, go to your tags folder. Like I said before, I already had them created here. Go to your show hide filter, click on your node one, and you would hit add tag. And so I'll just show you how I created these Modbus addresses. So add tag, and you would go to node name, and then select the Modbus TCP master device. And so you just name the tag here. So I just named them as high speed counter input function, simple counter zero value, and so on. So you would name it here and it's going to be a holding register. I just did an offset by one. So for the IR ETN 40R, it's 4X4044. So in Mapware 7000, it would be 404045. So for each one of these, you offset by one. So you just add one. And then I need to create some numeric displays. So for my user interface on the actual HMC device. So I created a base screen here. And to create a base screen, you'd right click on base screen and do new base screen. And I named it HSC or high speed counter using an IR ETN 40R. And I created just some numeric displays here. And to do that, you go to show data and click numeric display. Here are the six Modbus addresses, and I just assigned these numeric displays to that tag. So tag name, this is the high speed counter input function. Here's our simple counter zero upper limit, time windows, windows channel, and of course our rate value. Now I want to make sure I go over something else here. Go back to your easy remote IO, and we are still online, and go to parameter. Now here is where you would set up your parameters for your high-speed counter. You'd be able to monitor your high-speed counter values here. Make sure you have this set up here. So because I'm using terminal one, I want to make sure this is set to simple counter zero slash one because we're using a simple counter. And here's where you can set up your time windows, your windows channel, rate value. The way you would change the online value is you would type in the project value and then go up to online and click download and that project value will show up in the online value. So under parameters is where you can change and monitor your high speed counter. 
So whatever you're doing here, you can always adjust here in the project value, hit enter, and then download so you have an online value, as well as monitoring your online values. Now, you can monitor your Modbus addresses on the HMC device itself on the user interface or monitor here in Easy Remote. But if you want to monitor your Modbus addresses or just a few of them in Mapware 7000, there's a few things you need to do in order to do that. So go back to Mapware 7000 and I've created these tags here. These are actually user defined tags on the actual HMC 4070. So in order to monitor your Modbus addresses here in your data window, you'll need to create word registers and copy them to the Modbus addresses. So here I've created ones for the simple counter and for the rate. So I just put RPM rate and it's a word because it's a register. So in order to copy them, in order to see those Modbus addresses here and monitor them, you'll need to copy these tags. So to do that, go to task and you'll click global task and here under select tags, go to copy HMI slash PLC block to HMI block. So you'd click that and then for tag A, you'd select the user defined on HMC 4070 and then you would copy it to tag B, which would be that Modbus address. So in this case, simple counter word will be copy to simple counter zero value and then you'd hit add so once you do that you'll be able to go to your data window and right click add variable you'll be able to add those tags and be able to monitor those Modbus addresses here in your data window so now at this point we can download and go online so first you'll want to make sure because we're using ethernet download go to tools pc communication mode and enter the IP address of your HMC device here and hit OK and then go to mode, go online with download and you can see that IP address ends up here and if you are downloading for the first time make sure you download the firmware first and then your second download will be with the application. So in this case I've already downloaded one so I'll just need to download the application and click download, download completed it may take a few more seconds for it to load on the HMC device. Once it does, I want to monitor these values. So I'll go to mode, go online without upload. And now once I get the high speed counter going, I'll be able to see the values change here. Okay, now I am online and I'm looking here at the HMC 4070 user interface using VNC viewer. And on the right is an actual camera feed of the IR ETN 40R. I just want to monitor the digital inputs. I want to see that channel pulse when I trigger the high speed counter. Now I'm using a signal generator to produce the high speed counter. So I'll be monitoring my RPMs and frequency on the signal generator. And right now I have it set to 100 RPMs. And so we'll see the values change in Mapware for these registers here as well on our HMC device. And you'll see the LED for that digital input channel pulse when I increase the frequency and decrease the frequency. So I'm going to turn on my high speed counter. You can see the values changing in Mapware as well in VNC viewer. And you can see channel 10 is pulsing now going to decrease the RPMs. So now I'm down to 10 RPMs and you can see how it's pulsing at a slower pace now. About a frequency of one. So now I'm going to go all the way up to 500 RPMs. See how the pulse is increased. And you can see the simple counter zero value resets when it hits 1000. I just have it set to 1000 as a max and then it will reset to zero. And this is how you would set up high speed counter using Mapware 7000 as well as Easy Remote on your IR ETN 40R using Modbus communication. To get more information, you can visit the how to set up high speed counter with an IR ETN 40R using an HMI plus PLC combo tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.